Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we are doing some more Monster Train. So we still have not quite cracked the Umbra yet. We've gotten close the last two times, but just have not been able to get past the final boss. So, all right, we are going to go Umbra one last time, and then we're going to go with the Hellhorn this time, because why not? And we'll keep it Covenant 1, because we got close last time. Still... I think I would like to be Covenant 1 with these guys before we go Covenant 2, but anyways. So, Mind Collapse, deal 3x damage to the enemy unit, slaging 2 energy. Interesting. That's an interesting card. I don't mind that. Ascend a unit, okay, and then Cannibalize. This might actually work out really well for us if we have the Trample Buddy again. Yeah, and I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go for the Trample. Now, the only potential problem is... Ooh. <sighs> Nah, we have to get the morsel every single turn. Yeah, getting a morsel every single turn means we don't necessarily need to rely on morsel cards. So I actually really like that. Question is, can I fit a morsel on the top floor with our trample buddy? Or I also, we got to remember, we don't have stun on that top floor anymore either. So he's going to actually take damage. Unless we damage shield. Might as well just go heavy on the top floor, I think, at this point. And doesn't really matter. Are we actually going to be able to kill them both with Trample? That's a good question now that I think about it. 21. Uh, sorry, 35. No, actually, we're not even going to be able to kill this guy. Ugh. Ugh. This is 9 damage, and we get 2 damage back. Hmm. Hmm. So we could kill him. But then have two AP back. We'd want to spend one AP on you. But I think we need to throw two of these guys down so that we can beat his armor. Yeah, I actually think that's our point. Oh, we, the other thing we got to remember is we actually have him here too. But he wouldn't be able to kill. So I need two of these guys just so your armor goes nowhere. You might make it to the top floor. I don't think that matters. Just give me my 75 gold. And then... That's right, because of... Ooh, crap. Hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because once I put another... Ascend another unit up there, I can't give him morsels. So I maybe shouldn't have ascended yet. Actually, probably shouldn't have, for the record. All right, this is nine damage. You're at 11 HP, so I need to do two damage on you. Unfortunately, I can't. Yeah, we don't have any good... We don't have good cards this time. Hmm. So you guys are all dead. Uh, you will break my damage shield, which sucks, but we'll live. Might as well throw you down here. Because we don't really have room for all of these. We will go ahead and sacrifice him right away. Because that's three cards. And then, like, whatever here. I wonder if I just do three damage. I actually think I do. Because if that card pops up again next turn, I can just murder him. You're going to live, but you're going to not do any damage. So I'm fine with that. Uh, These don't really matter. I'm trying to think how much the boss does. Does he do ten? If he does ten, that's slightly better for you. I think you can only fit one, so there you go. And then you're going to get buffed slightly, too. So you're just going to hopefully do just a little bit of damage. Damage shield. He took quite a bit of damage. We're not going to have necessarily the tanks in this one right now. He does four damage, actually. You do four. So it's actually eight total, so I'm glad I put you up. We could actually rather ascend you. And that's probably our option. Yeah. Do we have minor? Yes, we do. So that essentially cost us one, but it was worth it. I think we do ascend you. And I think we do. I should have played it first. Crap. Crap. We do that so we can mine him and kill him next turn. Crap. Ugh. I'm screwing this one up right now. That's okay. So we could ascend again. Is that worth it? Probably. Hear me out. Let's ascend the guy that has the least amount of HP.
Just don't speak to me. Just don't speak to me. Uh, give me the damage sealed. Oh, actually, he's gonna die in the first one, but he's gonna live slightly longer. Yeah, that works. God, I screwed this up so bad. Yeah, we just, we absolutely messed this up. I should have killed him first. And then I could have used my extra two to then uh, ascend. So he's probably gonna do take damage on our, our thing. Gotta kill you. And we're good now. Okay. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> but we made it out okay. I'm trying to move a little faster. Just so these episodes aren't an hour and a half long. Which means we might make some slight mistakes here. Uh, I don't think I care. The miner's interesting because it's so good. And I think I still like the idea of having uh, just damage. We probably want the armor. We want the armor because we're, we need tanks. And that's going to be our best tank. Except potentially you. He can be a baller tank as well. Now, we don't have the energy to put him on the top floor, but we can always... Eh, eh, eh. I'm really tempted to go here because if we could have this armor, uh, if we could play that every turn, that would just be baller. But I also would really like to upgrade like our steel worker right now. I think I think we risk it. Double stack. Dang. Dang. Ten armor. I mean that's not terrible. The other options we could re-roll. That would be interesting. We should have two ascends. I thought we only had one. I actually like that. Hmm. I mean, we definitely want 13 damage. Okay, so this is 50. These are usually about 90 or so. So 50, 60, 70 puts us at not enough. Not enough. So let's reroll and see what we end up with. Ah! Honestly, these are just significantly worse. <laughs> uh, crap. Well, we could do this and this, but we actually can't afford that. Plus 20 damage. I think I will go ahead and just make one super torch. And we're going to make you free. Sacrifice is also interesting free. But we do want to give you a little more HP. So in the scheme of things, this ash uh, really sucked for us, actually. Yeah, we should have gone the other way then. Or we should have taken the plus 10 damage from the first one. Uh, Give me the damage shield, Gorge. God, 10 HP is so terrible, though. So he has to have more HP. Ah, Obviously, we were fighting this. I didn't see what it does. It's units on every floor, right? Nope, non boss enemies are more damage. Well, then. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, we'll put you up here. And... This is what we're going for right now. Uh, I'm gonna save it for now. Yeah, I'm gonna save it for now. You got more HP from that guy. That's good. Do I actually want to lead you? See, this is the only potential problem. I should have maybe put this guy up top. Because we want him to be in front of him. That's kind of where we're at right now. Because now if I put him up top, he's gonna be in the back. And that's not nearly as useful for us. Oh, I don't have a way to kill you. Ugh, that sucks. I could ascend, but no, no, no. Yeah, and I have no way to kill you either. Ugh. What a crap hand, man. Yeah, and you're gonna take damage too. Mm. I think we throw the train steward out here. Just so he takes less damage and start uh, starts getting as much HP as possible. 
And then two damage, life steal one. I think I gotta keep giving it to you. Although you're gonna take some slight damage, but like, whatever. I might be able to give you a life steal next turn or something like that. God, sucks we missed them. All the freaking spells we have that do damage and we couldn't get it that one time. Purge. Uh, I actually don't care about that. Dude, we don't have enough. Oh my god, what? Hold up, how much damage is this? 12. Oh yeah, because we have four. Uh, I just can use this on our last one. So let's spend two one cost and then we'll be good to go. Ah, damage shield one is so good. I don't want to get rid of you. Actually, hold a hold, hold, hold. Where are we going? Slay. Thank you. There you go. There you go. And then we can get rid of one of these crap ones. So whatever. And sacrifice. Beautiful. Now we have three guys. Do we want to send you? Hmm. We hadn't seen our armor one yet either, for the record. I think we have enough time on you that we don't need to rush something out here. I don't know life steal does much for us. Now the thing is, and what I don't know, yeah, so I think life steal does tick away. So life steal is actually um, just worthless for our dude. Yeah. Like, if we're not actually going to do any damage, life steal is just worthless. Or if we uh, aren't lacking HP, life steal is just worthless. I could also just ascend you. <laughs> I could ascend the other say I do, but meh. All right, well, whatever. We're not going to get a kill here. This is six damage. This will actually kill you, and then I don't have to worry about you taking any more damage. So I'm good with that. I need my stun on the top floor. I missed that. That was really, really nice for us. We didn't really realize how good that was. How good we had it. Uh, we want to spend one more thing. Maybe I want rather have that, but it doesn't matter. Because now we get our 2 AP back. We can't play you. Actually, we can play you here. Do this. Now, you're not going to get the damage shield, but whatever. We'll keep you alive one turn longer. And whatever. He's not going to make it up top. Not with the 25 damage dealer at, uh, at the second level here. We're fine. Uh, he does do AoE damage, though. And actually, looking at that, I could have played this differently. But that's okay. So we did have our fortify. I forgot about that. You're free. Play. Yeah, he's dead. It doesn't really matter what we do now. So that's 12 damage, this is 22. I think I'll do the 22, and there you go. Okay, whatever. Oh, so he actually killed my morsel. T yeah, because the AoE, Brian. <laughs> Dang it, freaking AoE, man. So we kind of still want someone with sweet, wait, who's our boss? Cleanse all units of benefits. I'm actually fine with that one. That one works well with what we're doing. I think I say no to these. Our gold is really terrible right now. Yes. 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 So the thing is, I have to play him first, or I have to play him and raise him. Because we don't want him necessarily being in front, unless we can get a ton of damage shields. So, duplicate any card. Arrgh. Uh, the problem is we want to upgrade our cards right now. God, I hate these guys. And also, I really need to get rid of some of these cards, too. So we're okay now on units, I think. Give me an upgrade, please. Do I salvage anything? Consume. Descend a unit at the bottom floor. Descend. So basically, once per battle, we can descend uh, an enemy unit or one of our units for that record, uh, to the bottom floor and give them days two. Or we can ascend to the pyre room and then give them days three so they instantly just get destroyed by our pyre. I will go the descend because it's free. Yeah. 
I almost... Honestly, I'm kind of debating grabbing two of those. Like, what about duplicating that card? I originally was thinking about duplicating him. But what about actually grabbing two of that? Like, Days 2 is crazy good. The problem is he's always going to be in the back. So whoever gets to send the bottom floor probably isn't going to die. So I think I will go with you. And we're going to want to increase the size of our floors definitely here. Dude, one damage upon death sucks. That sucks. Okay. So it looks like we can do it. We're going to give you the food and we want to send you behind him. Yeah, yeah, you do more damage. You do more damage. And I think we go ahead and just kill one of these guys now. Versus just giving an extra morsel. They're going to reduce damage, but... Oh, yeah, we get two AP back. I always forget about that. <laughs> Read the thing, Brian. Read the thing. Uh, HP to you. You're in front, so yeah, let's give you HP. I did not understand him. So he needs fuel every turn to be used. Which means he has to always be in front. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so he's only gonna be able to attack once this next turn. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that now. I kinda hate it. Maybe we wanna put him in front of you then in the future. I don't think that's worth using right now. I think that's just a big waste, especially since he's gonna kill both of them. Um, I'm debating about the HP. I think let's give it to you. I don't really want to ascend. Oh, I totally didn't even notice you guys down here. <laughs> Maybe should have looked. Uh, this gives us two AP back. I think I will just kill you right away. Could actually ascend you. Maybe I can send one of these guys? Eh. Eh. I think it's fine. So he's essentially the most baller unit that we can just never use. <laughs> uh, probably want to give him armor. Yeah, we want to keep you balling. There's our damage seal. That's what we're looking for. Well, we're all two of these guys down here. I think I'm fine with that. Um, I do not mind putting a train steward in the back. Actually, who do we still have? Do we have another unit out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have either of those guys versus the train stewards at this point. Unless I could ascend. Do we have another ascend coming? No. We could trap shoot our young unit. Not that I really give a crap. I actually think that's what we do. I think we trap shoot our guy. And then you're doing extra damage. We'll give that to our boss. I hate the 10 damage here. That sucks, man. And then you guys are gaining armor. Hate to see that, for the record. Really hate to see that. So this is going to kill everyone here. We only need one AP for that one to work, though. We did not get our trap shoot. Which is very unfortunate, by the way. For the way, by the way, by the way, kill you. Let's give our front guy damage shield because he's the gonna be the first one. Um, let's give you life steal because you're gonna want it, and we will give you the eater. And we literally can't play any of these. I might as well actually just cannibalize you. And it doesn't really matter which order we do it in. And then we have two AP left and I can't do anything else. So, congratulations. 
That works. Sure. At least we're doing damage on the boss. He's got a healer. Do we have enough units doing damage? I don't think that matters. I wonder if I want to kill him first. You're actually gaining HP out of this. Yeah, because you're life stealing. Yeah. Yeah. Do I want... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now, he might actually be dead by the time the boss gets around, but... I actually screwed that up. I should have put a morsel down there first. Kind of messed that one up. We'll give you a couple fuel. I could put the other one up there, but... Eh. Eh. Might as well just give you the fuel at this point. And you're just not going to consume anyone this turn, but... <sighs> All right. And then, yeah, we're gaining more armor than we're taking as long as they keep doing these low crap damage. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to attack the first time. But we're still doing 110 damage here, which isn't too shabby. You... How much? I guess three fuel. I actually can't play him. They have to be on different floors. Golly, man, this sucks. Okay, I actually hate you. Do that. We can't play on the bottom floor. Cannot. So let's give our front guy a little more HP. He's gonna have three fuel, so he'll be able to attack three turns. Is that gonna be enough? No idea. No idea. Mm. 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 Then, yeah, you just do the damage and hi. Our hand's kind of bad right now, to be honest. Yeah. 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 How can we improve it? That's a very interesting question. So we can ascend. But that doesn't actually help me because... I don't think it does. Yeah, he's dead, so it really doesn't matter, actually, now that I look at it. Yeah, okay, whatever. Do that, and sure, give me another energy. Not that it matters. Okay, I mean, the thing is, our power's yet to take damage, but we still just... And it's not maybe that our hand's bad, but we're just still playing it badly. Maybe that's a better way to describe it. Doubles the amount on rage, doubles the amount of armor. Eh, deals five damage, applies seven rage. I have no heals. I think this is great with the Awoken deck. I don't think that's worth what we want right now. Does this go up? I actually have no idea whether or not that goes up or whether it stays the same. Branded Warrior is interesting because we have a lot of frontline units. We don't have a lot of backline units. Putting him in the back line with our boss or with one of the um, tank, uh, one of the, the the machine fuel ones is really an interesting concept. I would love to know how strike works. It says trigger when attacking, so I just don't know. Is it 13 every single attack? I don't know. We'll do Branded Warrior, and we definitely want capacity. We're probably going to keep doing capacity again. Now, the question is, are we going to upgrade our hero with Trample again? I don't know. God, I hate not being able to spend money. But honestly, I think removing cards at this point is our best option. And we really don't have that much cash either. Although this is 200 something. I think we go one. Well, I guess we're going that way. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think we do do one level of this just so we can get a second unit up on that floor. Because I think our, our floors are a little lacking right now. God dang it. I really wanted the remove. Mm. I hate all of these again. <laughs> like literally none of these are helpful right now. Meh. 
Can I actually make you? No, okay, I was wondering. I was wondering if I can make that cheaper. What about making one of you free? Oh, no. Shade splitters, honestly, we could start ditching. But, you know, we need to start removing cards from our deck, which is kind of the problem. I will go ahead and upgrade you. Permafrost, there literally would be no reason. Except maybe Ascend. Uh, but th uh, I'd rather reroll. Gosh, we can't get what I need. <laughs> Remove Consume. Yes. We'll do that. Plus 10 magic power we want on you. That doesn't really help as much there. Vent. So by default, it would be uh, 12 damage. At best, it's 16. Is that worth more than you doing? I actually think it is. We're going to want both of them upgraded, though, at one point. And unfortunately, we can't remove again. And then remove. God, I wish I would have gone the other way. I, I I think we just keep what we got. Let's just save the little bit of money we have. Uh, we're playing really bad right now. Apologies. I think I'm even gonna go for the money. Our power's yet pyre has yet to take damage, and quite frankly, we need money. We really need the money. So how do we want to do this? I'm gonna keep him as my boss tank. Okay. Can I actually play you down here? Chances are no. Oh, with damage shield one, actually, yes. But it would be a bit of an awkward situation. This does this four plus 10 damage. This is 14 damage. So that actually kills the back guy. Actually, we could just spend the one AP and then, yeah, no, no, no. So we're gonna do it this way instead. Now, it doesn't matter who gorges here. I would love to have gorged him, but the idea, man, maybe I should have played him in front. Yeah, I think I should have. All right, and then we just killed the back guy there. Yeah, because he could at least gain another damage shield. The whole idea is I wanted to ascend you, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, he costs four, but we're going to have another two up there. Interesting. I mean, I kind of have to ascend this turn, don't I? <laughs> Having two ascends. Huh. Interesting. Questions whether or not I want to armor first. This is a very awkward thing. I don't really know what's the best way to do this. All right, I think we go here. Just so we can start getting a tank here on the bottom floor. I really honestly do not like our deck right now. Like, I don't like what this is looking like. Give you the energy and then I'm gonna give you the damage. Doesn't really matter, you're dying. Sending would be interesting on you. I could have sent you, but like, then you're still doing 12 damage. The whole idea is I'm trying to get a spell on her so I can kill her without a spell. Now we're at eight HP here. The idea is hopefully you don't die. Okay, this is what I was looking for before I ascended, is I wanted to put him up here. And then I wanted to ascend. I was afraid of ascending and then not being able to play him. The other interesting thing would be playing you up here as well. And I actually really like that idea. The problem is, with you up there, ooh, ooh. No, because we'll get another two thing once I ascend. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to enable him for the time being. No, because our boss is gonna cost four and give us two, so. No, I actually can't pull you up there. Although our boss is gonna die, but save you real quick. God, this is such a freaking difficult deck, man. 
Because <laughs> ah! I need you two in the same floor. Maybe the boss is supposed to be the dude in front. I don't know! God, this is so hard. We did lose our guy on the bottom floor, but like, what am I supposed to do, man? Uh, so we gotta kill him off. Our boss is still dying. And I can't raise him either. I could just send him to the bottom floor. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Save my life! I don't even know how to do this anymore. I have to keep giving you people. Like, that has to happen. You need to die. And then I guess we play you. And I just I have no use for him. Until you move up. And then maybe we move both of these guys up? I don't even know, man. You might just have to stay on this floor. Oh, he still ascends with the days. That's interesting. Huh. Actually, kind of like that. Is there any way to keep our dude alive? No. No. So our boss is essentially going to die. Because I have no days or uh, any way to deal with him. So he's going to do 11 damage on our boss. Our boss is dead. Hmm. I don't think nine damage is worth anything for us. We could actually do it twice, which is hilarious. Might as well start there. I, I can't. Gosh, dang it. And then, yeah, let's give you as much HP as possible. And we still have... I did that wrong. I meant to actually attack you. Doesn't really matter. And you know what? Go here. I probably should save him in my hand because I could play him later, but. All right, so our boss is dead. This is awkward. This is definitely an awkward situation here. Uh, I cannot afford you to die, so no. That does not keep you alive. Because you're doing 22 damage. So we play you in front so you stay alive. Awkward, for sure. This gives us our AP back. I played the wrong one. I played the wrong one. Played the wrong one. So our tower's gonna take a little bit of damage. Our pyre. 33 damage. fine I can't play you because I can't enable you at this point actually I could I take that back yeah I totally can enable you Although I'd like to enable him, my assumption is I will hopefully be able to get more stuff next turn. We're doing 300 damage. That's good. I can't afford the torch. That torch is two? I thought I reduced the cost. So we might have a shot here at the boss. Ah, I ran out of fuel. That's the, man, I shouldn't have duplicated that guy. That's the other thing. He just isn't worth duplicating at this point. So he's out of fuel, essentially. And we're still taking a lot of damage here, but that's okay. I think we can survive. We don't need the energy, so we're just gonna immediately sacrifice you. And hopefully we can get some better ones, like, you know, damage shield, for sure. I mean, the common morsel. One energy or three, ugh. All right, so we got the kill now. Woof! There you go. I mean... We're trekking. But yeah, this deck isn't doing what I thought it was gonna do, and mm, we're struggling right now. Hi. I can't afford you. If I make you cheaper, oh my god. Oh my god.
Yeah. There is actually an interesting case for Inferno. If our bottom floor is empty, that's where we use it. And screw it. Our deck is a hot mess right now. Let's let's just throw out more cards. <laughs> it really is. So I really need to upgrade that. And this is perfect because we want to remove two cards. Okay, so I mean for sure we have too many units. Um I would like to get rid of the morsel ones, but we'll start there. I also need to upgrade my units eventually, but like Yeah. Permafrost. Ugh. We have the money this time, so maybe we do hold on to it. I mean, holding on to that's not a terrible idea either. We're talking about ascending. I can actually make it so I can play you. And that would actually give us two energy back. To a random enemy. We got to keep that in mind. Still, that's 80 damage. And I'm going to reroll... Yes! Because that's what we were looking for. Holdover. Okay. So holdover on armor is ridiculously good. Is this one worth it? <laughs> uh, kind of. We could also just get a billion, a billion freaking uh, morsels in our hand. Oh my god. I mean, there's a chance. I I think we got to go there. We just we got to be safe. We got to be safe. And let's make Infernal slightly cheaper. And I actually think we want 30 damage because this is probably then going to be able to kill anyone. That one then I think kills anyone in the game. And do we still have another chain steward? Yes. Let's get rid of you first. All right. So we're a little spell heavy. Oh, we can actually get rid of another one. At uh, that point, then let's go ahead and get rid of you because I don't really care. All right. Our deck went from a hot mess to, you know what, actually, maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, spell shield two, I'm going to say no. Can't afford that. Although the money would really be helpful right now. But I think we decided that we are just essentially going to spell damage everyone and their mother. How the hell are we going to do this now? So when you play, by the way, even if he dies, it increases the capacity on the floor. So I think we do want you up there. Okay, we're going this way. We're just going to make a normal floor here. Just a normal damage floor with a normal tank, and I think that works. I'm not going to be able to feed anyone up there. Whatever. Whatever. And then I will put you out because I will probably be able to play someone next turn. <laughs> we got our person. Okay, so the whole idea was to throw you here. I actually can't kill this guy yet. Inferno. Actually, hold up. Is that worth it? I think so, actually. Yes. You're going to be gaining HP forever. So let's give you the armor because you're going to be kind of our tanker at this point. I am going to ascend you so I can get my money. Where's my money, Lebowski? And I really want to see that AoE damage every freaking time, man. That would just be great. So uh, we can easily get AP back on this. You're going to kill two of the guys. The other guys don't really do much damage. Can I keep you alive? I don't know. Having him with the damage shield, though, is rather interesting. Okay, so we're at three right now. Oh, yeah, that actually buffs. Ah, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, that actually kind of sucks. 
So that would be four, eight then. As opposed to three. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, damage shield. Ugh. Uh, so this would be 612. Actually, this would be the exact same to kill one of these guys, right? Because right now it's doing 4, 8, 12. If I kill one of them... Yeah, it should be the exact same. And... I'm going to go split them up. I should have actually ascended him first, so he'd only do 4 damage. But... This is fine. This is fine. Just to split the damage up a little bit so he's not taking quite as much. Also, now he's doing damage on that back guy too, so hopefully we can get the kill here. He's gonna be hard to keep alive. I need to kill both of these guys. Yeah. I wonder if he's worth putting in the front. I don't know. Obviously, I need you. I can actually kill both of these guys. So I think that's worth it. Am I going to play you? I think the answer is yes, just where? I, hmm. I could put him in front. That's the other thing. And then enable him. I actually like that. Uh, hold up, 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 hold up. Kill that guy. Good. We get our energy back. Do I want to play you up here? We're only killing the dude in front. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? He's just gonna, he's gonna sit in the back. He's gonna slowly gain armor. So hopefully he's just gonna be able to survive. He's only doing 10 damage, so it's not super useful, but he is gonna at least be able to kill some people. I did not kill that guy. Well then. Whoops. Freaking tanky guys. And he's doing pretty significant damage. 11 damage on my pyre there again. That's kind of what killed us last time is we kind of kept running into situations where, uh, our pyre just kept taking a little bit of damage and it kind of screwed us eventually. I don't really want to descend any of these guys to the bottom floor unless they're going to die. So they're not really that scary, so let's do this. Well, I might as well descend first. Uh, yeah, because I can't descend the boss. You think it would daze to the boss, though? I don't know. We'll try that some other time. This will be fine for now. You should be able to kill him. Uh, cannibalize, please. And then give me another one. And then let's figure out where we want to go with these. So give me the damage shield for now. Give me the life steal for now. That's going to help you come boss. We will then take the energy. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. You're taking five damage. You're gaining extra armor. You're dying. You're going to be at 40. Oh, no. You're going to be at a total of 50. Which you'll be dead. And it looks like he will get the kills. So we're not going to get the extra rage. He's not been getting any of the kills. That's the only problem that we have right now is the rage guy's not been getting kills. So maybe I should actually have him second, my boss in third. Yeah, and with Trample, that actually makes more sense. That's what I should have done. We misplayed that. Mm -hmm. That's fine, though. I'd rather not use 22 damage, but whatever. Hear me out. I mean, I gotta play my boss, right? I gotta. Is he AoE? Yeah, he is sweeping. So you're gonna die no matter what. So let's give you the extra stuff. Do I do 22 damage or do I do 30 damage a thousand times? I think we do 30 damage a thousand times. And let's actually give you options here. Uh, So I guess, there you go, damage and HP, cool. Yeah, all right, let's go. So it actually did kill that guy. Interesting. So it killed that guy and then did risk the damage on him, it looks like. 
And whatever, he's gonna die, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, we did that one completely wrong. But the thing is, I ended up raising him up, you know, instead of playing him on the floor. I think that was the damn the problem. So extra armor, please. Only 188 again. How about just doing 100 damage on him and killing everyone. <laughs> uh yeah, probably not. Probably not. I need this spell earlier in the game. That's kind of the whole plan of it. Yeah, not getting that spell early in the game really kind of sucks. So let's see. This is uh, 16 damage. If I do two, then that is not going to be as much. So sure. Uh, so we're going to be able to survive. I don't think our pyre is going to take any damage again, but... We're still trying to figure out the Umbra, man. We're just, like, we're having issues with the Umbra for sure. All right, our pyre actually is taking damage. Is that gonna happen, though? That's just nine damage. That's just nine damage. Yeah, our pyre's gonna take damage. Are we dead? Nah. I can't play a dude up here. Oh, crap. Is the sweep? Are we dead? We're dead. <sighs> wow. So we still have not been able to crack the freaking Umbra. And we're getting worse. Oh, man. Dang. We got murdered by the sweep. That sweep was just terrible for us. Hmm. Like, I mean, we were doing really good there. It seems like. Man. Maybe we should have done the 100 damage. No, because we did 188 on that one. I honestly don't really know what we could have done better on that deck. I think we're learning a couple things about those cards, though. Like, I completely misread that one card. That that messed me up 100%. Uh, the automaton card, whatever that one is. I. The... We not even level, by the way. I don't even think we leveled. Maybe don't level. No, because we die all the time. Yeah, the allied construct. I totally misread that. That you have to fuel them. So popping out two of those guys sucked for us. I don't know if I'm liking the Umbra. They just seem significantly harder, and I think it like the morsel stuff is so freaking cool, but the problem is it doesn't necessarily help. Like, the boss, as cool he, as he is, I just don't think he's as good as some of the others. I'm actually intrigued. I think next time we'll go Hellhorned Umbra, and I think getting some Umbra units out, especially with the Morsel stuff, could be really interesting, especially if you throw in some of the bigger Umbra stuff. Or, sorry, some of the bigger Hellhorn stuff. But we'll we'll see what we can do. How long close are we? Eh, less than 300, so a couple more uh, episodes, and we should have the Melting Remnant. All right, but anyway, sorry this one's shorter. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.